One other point I want to make here, as the president was speaking before the U.N., Obama decided it was his duty as president to once again criticize the United States. In other words, it was a continuation of the apology tour that he began in 2009 and which seems which he seems to take such great delight in. And what Obama said is, he said, I realize that America's critics will be quick to point out that at times we too have failed to live up to our ideals, that America has plenty of problems within its own borders. By the way, many created by him. Um, he said, that's true. In a summer marked by instability in the Middle East and Eastern Europe, I know the world also took notice of the small American city of Ferguson, Missouri. This is what he said before the U.N. I realize that America's critics will be quick to point out that at times we too have failed to live up to our ideals, that America has plenty of problems within its own borders. This is true. In a summer marked by instability in the Middle East and Eastern Europe, I know the world also took notice of the small American city of Ferguson, Missouri, where a young man was killed and a community was divided. So yes, we have our own racial and ethnic tensions. And like every country, we continually wrestle with how to reconcile the vast changes wrought by globalization and greater diversity with the traditions that we hold dear. But we welcome the scrutiny of the world. We welcome the scrutiny of the world. We welcome your criticisms. He then went on to add that America is a country that has steadily worked to address our problems, to make our union more perfect, to bridge the divides that existed at the founding of this nation. And he did concede America is not the same as it was 100 years or 50 years or even a decade ago because we fight for our, our ideals. We're willing to criticize ourselves when we fall short. You know, but let me tell you why this is insane. In a speech, remember, he's focusing on civil wars. He's focusing on the malevolence of jihadists and the brutal invasion of other countries. And then he feels compelled, for some reason, to shine a light on what he deems America's flaws on what happened in Ferguson, Missouri in particular. Now, to be as respectful as I can be to the president, this is nuts. It's not even clear, in fact, quite likely that the shooting in Ferguson had nothing to do with race. Nor has it been proven that the cop, Darren Wilson, did anything wrong when he shot Michael Brown as of this point. But even if you think the worst about what happened in Ferguson, which you're free to think about, I don't care how you think, to focus on that incident as a way to criticize America before an audience that represents the single most brutal, sadistic regimes on the planet is offensive. And it's close to being an obscenity. What is it about Obama that constantly causes him to take personal pride in shining a spotlight on, on not even real, but the imaginary sins at times of America? What causes an American president to stand up before the United Nations General Assembly, a group that I could say generally is, is pretty anti-American and anti-Semitic, and cast America not just in a negative way, but in a deeply misleading way? And I'd like to add that to the degree what happened in Ferguson reflects badly on America, it's because liberals themselves decided to take tragedy and a, and a killing and that they don't even know had anything to do with race and put it into it, inject it into this, this incident. Even if it wasn't really relevant, the left wanted the killing to be about race. Just like in the case, white Hispanic George Zimmerman. Remember, they wanted that case to be white versus black. And it turned out it wasn't. You know, that's, that's the left's agenda. You know, stoking racial tensions in this country where maybe there are none. And, you know, so for Obama to then go before the United Nations and apologize for what his own party and his own administration created is particularly despicable. You know, but this is Barack Obama who we're talking about here. And at this stage, there's just about nothing, at, you know, that he'll say or do that can surprise me.